What's up everybody? I recently posted a video on LineageOS Android 10 and I was really impressed with how smooth everything ran. One of my subscribers asked me why not LineageOS Android TV version. So I decided to give it a shot and I have to say that it is yet again an excellent Android that is fit to run on a Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I have the Raspberry Pi with Android TV installed connected to a projector to see how well it works. And without a doubt, it works as good if not better than my Roku streaming player. For a better experience, you will need one of these air remote controls. I got one from Amazon a few weeks ago for approximately 13 US dollars. Using a mouse and a keyboard would not be practical with this setup. So if I got your attention already, stick around to see if this is something worth entertaining. Now let's get to work. First thing first, go ahead and head over to constechang.com, select Devices, Raspberry Pi 4. What we are looking to download is Lineage OS 17.1 Android TV. Once that's selected, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and look for these files. Click and download all three of them. Once downloaded, use Raspberry Pi Imager to flash Lineage OS to a micro SD card. While Lineage OS is being flushed to the SD card, go ahead and copy open gaps and recovery to boot. Copy these two files to a USB thumb drive or somewhere where you can access them later on. Now you can go ahead and remove the SD card from your computer and slide it in your Raspberry Pi. Now the easy stuff, just go ahead and click next, accept, next, select your uh, time zone, next, 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 and you can skip this step and start. As you can see, there is nothing installed at this point. So we will have to make some system changes to get the ball rolling. We will need to go to device preferences, about, go all the way to the end to build and click multiple times to enable developer options. Right click to back out, go to developer options, enable root access, hit OK, enable local terminal, Right click to get out of settings, click on apps and open terminal. Type in SU and hit enter. Type in RPI4 hyphen recovery dot SH and hit enter. Now you can go ahead and reboot. Your system should reboot and if everything goes well, this is what you should see. All right, swipe to allow modifications. Mount, check boot, system, vendor, USB OTG. You may not be able to check that box. The reason why is you will need to insert your USB where you have the files that we downloaded earlier. So go ahead and insert your USB and go back to that menu. Now we should be good. Go ahead and back out of this, go to install, select storage, USB OTG, OK, select open gaps, swipe the confirm flash, wait a few moments. Once 
wipe Dalvik, swipe to wipe, back, back. Now we need to select recovery boot, swipe to confirm flash, reboot, system, and it should reboot your Raspberry Pi and you should be good to go. Now simply follow these steps and answer all these questions. Now look at this beautiful thing. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and install some common apps that uh, I find interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and install Sling, PBS, just because it's here. Um, see when you click on my apps, you see all the apps that I installed. I like to have Plex and CBS News just so that way we can see a live feed. Now these are all the apps that I have installed so far. So what I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean up the desktop a little bit. Turn that off. So now I have a clean slate. And I'm going to go ahead and add all the apps to uh, my screen so I can have them handy. Alright, see YouTube here, it's running with no hesitation whatsoever. It is snappy now CBS News I'm going to try a live stream uh, I don't want to see that okay that's pretty good now let's check out Sling this is this is it this is pretty good. My plan is to use this Raspberry Pi and have a permanent setup uh, with my projector and use it as my home media entertainment center. Uh, I am 100% pleased with what I'm seeing right now. Fantastic. Alright guys, this is the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, see you in the next video. Say hello to the world.